Hi. So uh, this is Ivana and we are here at FadeCon and this is the first year for it, but oh my God, it's so much fun. So I just went in and um, I got my my badge. Isn't that cute? Uh, I'm here with Boob. Jacob Boobarut. Boob to the max. Hank Boob Abraham. to the max. Known him for, for eons. When did I first meet you? Gosh, it was like 2006? 2004. 2004, oh my god! That's a, so, oh my god! That's yeah, been a long time. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're sitting outside so we can have the wind blowing in our hair. No, it's I so mean, nice though. You know, I'm from Michigan where it's like 20 degrees and here it's like, oh, it's like 60. You're like, oh, it's nice. I'm in shorts. So from, from where I was. So I'm, I'm happy to be down here in Texas. This is awesome. Okay, so you got in, um, let me see, you got in yesterday? Yes. Yep. And and it's been nonstop since then setting oh, up. Oh yeah, so. it's been boom, boom, boom. We've been uh, we've been planning FadeCon for the last almost a year. Uh, Fade came to us and was just kind of was talking over. He wanted to run a land party. You know, he felt that QuakeCon, you know, one time a year just didn't seem enough. Right. So he wanted to set up his own event at somewhere here in Dallas mm -hmm. to basically bring all of his friends and all everybody he misses throughout the year. Have a basically have an event for us. I'm, I'm trying to think in my mind of how you guys can do this where you guys don't have to work, right? Yeah. Like, like you know, we, should, we should have FadeCon, but have hire other people to set it up. See, that's that's kind of what uh, what QuakeCon is now. That most of us we don't do too much. You know, we do the volunteering right at the beginning, and then the rest of QuakeCon is just for to have fun. But with this, it's like, you know, every time you have the first time of anything, it's going to be difficult. So, you know, we've had some minor issues with, you know, network and internet stuff, but, you know, really we can't complain. You know, we've got solid power, which is probably one of the most scary things that I... I, I I'm I really surprised say. that they're able to do that, because we are here at Hyatt Place in Garland. Yep. And I, I'm, I'm kind of surprised that they were able to... I mean, there's 80 people. It's not like it's a 1,000, but at yes. the same time, yes. I was still a little surprised. It's, it's really cool. See, we started off with, like, 30 people. And it was going to be in this, uh, just this little, not even ballroom, it's just like this little conference room. We were going to have like a 30 person land, but all of a sudden they got all these calls from people from all over That's Texas so and cool. from all over the United States. They're like, you ever coming? You ever coming? You ever coming? And so he's like, okay, well, 80. And the hotel has been absolutely gracious to, to help us out and to let us uh, take basically one third of their ballroom. We're actually sharing it today with a, uh, a bunch of Ukrainian. Uh, yes, uh, <laughs> we just saw some of them. They're like, "Hey, y'all are having fun. We're having fun. No worries. Don't bo does, doesn't bother us a bit." And I'm like, "Yay!" So yeah, it's 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 awesome. Like I said, the uh, again, the, the hotel is is definitely interested in us coming back in the next couple year or the next year. So and I think Fade has already started the planning for FadeCon 2015. So so <laughs> they have uh, Franconia uh, sponsored, and so they're it's free beer. Yep. So all the uh, the paid attendees and the guests that have paid for uh, guest badges uh, get free beer all the way up until uh, two o'clock tonight. So, nice. And then we're starting beer again uh, tomorrow at twelve. So it's we've already we already blew our uh, five hundred dollar cash bar. We had, uh, <laughs> if that was in the first two hours. That was in a yeah hour and forty five minutes. <laughs> it was sold out. So yeah, the, the attendees are definitely enjoying it. And this is something you know at. QuakeCon, you don't get to take your beverage into the BYOC because, you know, they don't like glass right. and, and sure. so on and so forth. But right. here at QuakeCon, the rules are a little bit different. And that's yep. really nice that the uh, the hotel has kind of had no problems. They're like, yeah, we're, we have no problem with that. That's so. awesome. So, so since 2004, I've been seeing you once a year. And I've been talking on, on, you know, the social sides. And I don't even know if we've ever played Quake together. I don't, I don't think so. so. Nope. Oh my God, nope. that's so weird. So um, <laughs> this year I may even have some more time to play games. So I've seen you once a year, but what what do you do when you're not at QuakeCon? So I work full time as a uh, network administrator at the Fair State University College in Big Rapids, Michigan. So I'm kind of an IT guy, like most people that you know go to uh, QuakeCon or FadeCon or Lands. You know they have these jobs, they have these real lives, but on the weekends they become the weekend warriors and they do all these different things. So, like I said, for me, it's, you know, uh, during the year, or during just normal, without any of these lands, I'm, uh, I'm just working at the college and helping out students. Uh, we have our, a small little land group at the, the university, the kids all, that I have to, I become another chaperone, so I, and I administrate that too. <laughs> so that's really cool. We have, but it's like a 20-person land. So it's really small, but it's, it's really good to see the, the students and younger generations because they don't really understand why our land so important or why our land so fun right because they've grown up with you know cable internet broadband right. they, they that's they've right never been to the the yes. years where it was dial-up the 
best thing to do is to go to a <laughs> to convention or to go to a LAN party at your at your friend's house. Right. So, like I said, it's it's really cool to see the younger generation kind of capture on and kind of hold on to that. And they're like, they're really enjoying it. Like you yeah. said, they ha always had whatever, uh, been able to just hop online and play with their friends. And this this is something different. Yes. And I'm finding though that when they do see them in real life, it's a huge cool yes uh, and thing for them. That's the biggest thing that you know. I've made a lot of really good friends from just coming to Dallas for QuakeCon, BadeCon, and I've made some long-term friends, and it's it's awesome. Like yeah. you, I would have never met. I know it's so I, cool, I, isn't I've it? I've gone, gone to QuakeCon. So I love that. I look at all the the friendships that I've made as you know, there's your social or there's your internet friends, but a land party kind of transcends that, and it's yep. it's your real life friends becoming. Or your internet friends becoming your real life friends. So yeah, like, that's 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 really cool. With, okay, back in the day, <clears throat> the QuakeCon girls would challenge the what would you do uh, out to the crowd for whatever it was game or swag yep, or, yep. or hardware or something. I'm trying to remember which what was the first big thing you did was it the dance off yep so the first, the uh -huh. first event was i do believe 2005 it was at the nvidia basically what would you do uh event and like i said for you know video cards people were eating sticks of butter they were shaving <laughs> guys chest and, like i said they, and then uh the dance off and what's kind of interesting is that the dance off they actually did at a land party in michigan that i went to so it was really interesting to see that they used the same kind of fun things that other land parties have figured out that right. they people work. really enjoy. And they kind of added that at QuakeCon. So, and happened to be lucky enough to get picked by you, <laughs> I got to go up on stage and basically make an ass of myself. I, I think you did the worm. Yep. yep <laughs> I took that my was, shirt off. Yes, yes you yes, took I, your I shirt off and did the worm. All right. You're getting serious. No help. <laughs> basically like a, an official ball spokesperson almost he has the the hats and each year he comes he, he comes up with creative ways of displaying balls um oh, i just remembered something else we were were you i don't know if you were in that group or not that we got hypnotized or did you not get hypnotized? Nope, no nobody wasn't that I was me yep. yep all right well what would you say is your craziest memory of all the quake cons that you've been I think uh, this goes along with a lot of a lot of people that I've known. Uh, reading your article you did with Fade, you know what is the most craziest thing? And I have to say again, it was playing shirtless Quake with Todd Hollinger, the CEO of Bit Software. That was cool. Huh? That was probably the highlight of you know all the Quake cons I've ever been to. It's one of those things where you're growing up as a kid and you see, you kind of idolize these guys, you yeah. know, but. When you get to go to these events, you find out that they're just real people. They're and they don't they don't you know hold themselves to such a high standard. They're you know very humble to themselves. And you know I thought that was the coolest thing that he would he just came down, you know no questions asked and and played games with us. And yeah. I thought, you know that was the coolest thing. It was one of those things where you know you get to see him on stage. You get to hear him talk all about these things. You get to see him presenting, and then you get to see them walking through the BYOC, or you get to see them down with just the every everyday person and, right. and they don't they don't seem any different than they just have a really cool job and they make an ass ton of money but, <laughs> you know, but they're like, still real they're still people they still you know and it was like I said it was really cool and very humbling to see that he had no problem with just coming down and hanging out with a bunch of crazed fans and you know some people are they get kind of scared they're like oh those people are kind of crazy I don't know if I should go and hang out with them 
he had no fear. And that's it was just awesome. Like, that was, like I said, that's probably the, the top top moment, and it's going to be super hard to beat. I think so, too. I think you're right. That would be that would be a tough one. Oh, so this has been a kind of big year for you, hasn't it? What, what's happened over the last year? So uh, in uh, May, or in February of this year, <laughs> I got engaged. Uh, we went to, me and my fiance Amanda went down to Disney and, and got engaged. So I'll be getting married uh, this uh, summer, just before uh, QuakeCon. And it's already kind of been uh, talked about that I'm still going to be able to go to QuakeCon this year. <laughs> so uh, she's, she's definitely holding off, but I think maybe in a couple of years I can see if I can wrangle her to show up and yep. really kind of experience the event. So That's awesome. Nice. I, thank you so much. Thank you, Ivana. Have a nice night. All right. That, that, that's us. We've probably been seeing us film each other. <laughs>